Hi, Simon here, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, what is on my screen? Well, these are the upcoming changes slash updates. I will literally change jailbreak forever. Um, one hundred percent legit. So here is the legacy on my screen right now. These are well, upcoming changes though that will actually gonna happen in the near future i'm not gonna say this right now just so um take note of this right now then these updates then are actually gonna come out in the near future though i'm not gonna say it's gonna be happening for tomorrow next week next month i'm gonna just keep an eye on these all these things then because it's a lot to talk about right now then so it is um like i said all these updates that you guys are about to see right now it's not gonna happen tomorrow next week what is gonna happen in the near future so with that being said boys let's get right into it then this is the gameplay balancing act one i already actually read it right from yesterday and um for what i've heard right now it's um well you might gonna not gonna like it or not gonna like it so uh, without further ado let's get right into it though the first issue then is gonna be the police team and teamwork you guys remember no, we're always playing police every single time, right? So as you can see right now then, um, here he is now, um, here, police HQ, here, the police headquarters. Yes, uh, police HQ will be found in the heart of Jailbreak City. Doors are beyond your um, normal key doors, key card doors, and require a Q HQ key card to access. We got a brand new key card right now. To, to access the, the headquarters. You guys remember the, the um the normal key card that we actually access to rob the bank. Now it's gonna be one more rarer though actually. It's gonna be more rarer but less drop a uh, less chance of getting it. So yeah criminals can only enter with the HQ key card which is a very rare drop for police. This common spawn point will be bring the entire team closer together. So yeah that is literally it. So yeah, if you guys saw on the city though, that the, the Reborn city then, you will see a sort of, of a un, un an under construction building. And that will be that will be a police HQ. So um that will be considered as that though. And we'll also have a here called 3D police makers. What is this what is this then? Police are completely separated. Police markers would aid them in connecting them. All police would, would have a marker for other police to see. So you can see all your fellow um, police though, on the map, only for police actually. You can actually help them out and um, yeah, that's why. Police are taking damage will have their indicator blink. It will be a police only feature. Yes, only police. Oh, not for criminal stand, but only police then. When, when, um, when someone or a criminal is attacking a police, it will show up. You can actually help them out if you want to. Yeah. And here we got some um here called a um increased paychecks. I actually don't mind about this actually though. Um here, um paychecks will remain ultimate way to increase income while while remaining while remaining not interesting to bots as they have to wave around to be paid. Yes, increased paycheck two to four times. That's insane. And increase such severe, increased pay based on time spent on the in the server. Veterans officers get higher pay. That's right. And we got called we got a new one here. Or I'm coming new feature though. Ramming. That's right. What, what is that though? It's it's better known as pit maneuver, so that's why then. And so um there's a suggestion here by Raga Raga. Um uh, could you add something like ramming a criminal's car to slow it down? Ramming could cause the other car to use to lose traction, but it be thrown into a drift. I mean, that's that's actually really good then. I actually like that then. Here on issue number two, we're going here. We're going here. We're going here, boys. So um, here is an issue number two: the criminal team. We we'll always play that role forever. You know why? Yeah. <clears throat> here we go. Um, cash balances. Criminals currently make too much money compared to police. 
we propose cutting 10 to 15 percent from each robbery and give it towards the police scene. This will leave room for future robberies to keep the economy intact. So yeah, I don't know why, uh, but what if then? Because I have a um, what's it called though? And VIP. I'm not sure if that has an effect though as well too. Yeah, cutting 10, 50 percent. Because let's say though, we rob the jewelry store, and we hold five thousand cash. Then, after we go, when we go to the um, back to criminal base, then we got six thousand cash for the museum. Seven thousand cash when we go back to the to the, the um, volcano base. Yeah, seven thousand. And um, yeah, it's gonna be cutting 10 to 50 percent from each robbery. Okay, each robbery, and we meant all robberies then, not just one of them. Well, just just not not just one of them, but all of them. Okay. Now here is issue number three: weapon balancing. Some items can do too much damage in a small amount of time. All weapons should get a collective adjustment. Here is though the um the. All the weapons that will actually going to, well, going to um rebalance it again. The shotgun, is gonna use, so the damage so is thirty. Now it's gonna downgrade it to thirty to twenty two. Minus eight damage on that. Pistol keep it to fifteen. Yes, um, we want, we want, that's why not then. Revolver keep it at twenty five. Yeah, I mean that's really good though. I I like the revolver a lot. Foot knock. Guys, remember the damage is the six is sixty. Now it's downgraded again to fifty, which is the half of the damage. That's minus ten damage though. AK forty seven keep at six, yeah. Plasma also the same then. And the Uzi double the reload time. Yes, that's I mean that's really good. Sniper adjust the close range damage, so it's better long range weapon. Aim could increase the longer you have you have one a weapon equipped. And we also have the jet and the block on missiles that guys remember the um the, the uh all the missiles that you guys can remember. Guys, that is a very, very major um problem because whenever you're streaming jailbreak and you're grinding and all of a sudden all the people that is going to stream snipe you are going to actually gonna, gonna just chuck it in, shoot some missiles at you then for no reason. And now they're all gonna need a major buff. Reloads are so fast, ammo is expensive. And these vehicles have become popular for players with some cash. That's right over there, boys. Okay, next one over here. All this though is the um powerful two item fireball items to accessible. Yeah, I got some idea the plasma pistol, the separate, the separate rifle, and the flip knock. And then quick set of here. Um, this is gonna be some the suggestion. These guns should be obviously better and hard to get. So yeah. And also got equipped times, yes. Equipping from empty weapon, ep empty to weapon should be instant. But equipping between weapons should be imposed on up to one second delay, depending on the weapon though. This will fight gun spam. Yes, it is, guys, remember that. If the player will collect too many, uh, many um, powerful weapons in one life. Yeah, we're, I know we're I know we're called that gun spam thing. So yeah, here you might gotta ask, gotta hate this <laughs> issue number four: powerful vehicles. What's include the vault? So here he is, though. The vault should be completely redesigned in styling and handling. Existing owners would be offered a full refund upon removal. It will with the prop properly functioning. Replacement release at the same time or shortly after. The on uh, a bigger performance, then yes. Uh, before we go to big performance first, you might gonna hate this dead vault revamp. <laughs> For guys to remember, no vault is gonna be one of, if not the OP car, or let's say one million car OP car ever in the game. And now it's gonna be re redesigned. So, um, when the boss gonna remove though in the near future, we get a full one million cash back to us. So yeah, I'm not sure though, but you have to put that in comments below though. 
Are you are you satisfied for Volt Bike to remove or not? Okay. Next one is gonna be um vehicle performance. Rather than a nerve existing vehicles, offer the police team to a high performance police only vehicles that can keep up with the quickest criminals. Pricing could be reasonable and and the version vehicle could be inspired by existing performance patrol vehicles or even barricaded versions of supercars. Yeah. And here issue number five. Robberies. Oh my god, here we go. So police are to I left two vulnerable in some robbery layouts. Here's the changes actually over here. The bank, proper areas to cover inside the blue floor. Another bank then proper ways down instead of falling through elevator shafts. Players should should never ragdoll their way down to a high action area. That is right. And then the bank though reduce laser speed and invest in the vault. Yes. Um, for jewelry though, add best seat to the nearest stories for this case to prevent immediate roof jumping. So yeah. And then the museum though, there are only two change, changes then. Prevent ragdolling though. Yeah, that's right. When jumping to the roof entrance, possibly remove, possibly move the spotlight under the roof entrance. That is right. And then the, another one for the museum too. Place spotlights higher so they they will show above the red carpet. Yeah. And now we got the um, opening times then. In the last few years, in the last few years then, uh, we've seen a huge increase in robbery choices for criminals to choose from. And even icons to show them when they are, when they are, and what's open. That's why when it's when it's closed, when it's open, increasing robbery close ties might help to make the city more manageable to, for police. The changes should not be drastic, or will we risk a place to rob? Movements based robbery should be less common. Mm -mm. And here, guys. Here's the gameplay bug stand that impact chases. This is number six. Yeah, this is actually, I'm not gonna mention it for a little bit. The unavoid teleports are because, yep, it is an anti exploit method. <laughs> Although it, an extensive effort should be made to minimize the effect. Wall bank or shooting, yes. Blue walls should be patched. I freaking hate that. Um, um, any metric exploit should be just as soon as possible. Yes, they're keeping the number one anti exploit. Yeah, all four bad points with a back to the game require a Robux payment, a limited amount of warnings, and reset their cash. Oh my gosh, bro. There he is. Reset their cash. I think back to zero, I believe. Or maybe like 200, whatever you say. And vehicle squashing and the high speeds that will be also um, actually fixed too. Then number seven is gonna be the role of the prison. I don't know if you can see that, but okay then. Yeah, the um here the prison is a time timeout quotation marks holding ground for caught criminals. Police should have a brief period of rest after arresting each criminal. That's right. Uh, for escape then, escape should be obvious and easy to find, but some instantaneous to pull off. Multiple steps should be required to make the escape boat more interesting to buy and to buy police more time. The high security prison should be more become easier for players for any skill level to com to complete, and should take longer to escape. Resetting should not be bring the player back. To the regular prison, yeah. I guess I don't really want to go there to the um, the uh, what's it called? The new new prison, though. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm not going there anymore. Then, uh, the boat of the boat, the boat at the dock should be should be made free, and location should possibly be moved somewhere more inland. Okay, that's good. And we got this one here: security cameras. Yeah, security cameras would monitor the scale in the prison and all robbery buildings. SWAT pass owners could tune in anywhere in the world to see what's going on. Warning lights would go also go off in the security building when criminal activity is sensed in these areas. Yeah. And not polite the least, guys. The um weapon um weapon. Um the team balancing. <laughs> Here is telling this is the last issue then. 
the number of criminals on one server will be lowered 10 to 50 percent while increasing the cap for police. The bug of joining a full criminal team should be also be patched. Some servers, some servers can see too many criminals for a, for a, or for even a great police team to manage. Yeah, that's right then. So that is all everything that is all coming in the near future on jailbreak. And uh, let me know right now in the comments below what other things you guys are satisfied and not satisfied. But I, I just I just want to actually see your um your um, your comments, opinions, all that crazy stuff. Then I just want to actually want to see that in this video over here. Yeah, these all the incoming changes though, and that's why it says called gameplay balancing. It's gonna be incoming all these features um sometime in the future. Like I said, guys, it's not gonna happen tomorrow or any stuff like that. Yeah, it's literally. It's literally, it's literally, you're literally just re reading this forever. It's like reading a story. <laughs> but it is, it's, it's all worth it then, but you know, you know what I mean though. So, those are the upcoming changes though in Jailbreak that will really change completely. I am not even joking, it's literally 100% legit. Yeah, so that's all everything, all the, um, I think, eight issues though, I think, because the other game was completely unbalanced for, I think, three years now, or maybe four years now, I would say. Yeah, four years for I think, yeah, four years from now. Yeah, so, um, let me know, of the guys, what are the things over here, here in this video, are satisfied to you then? And what are the things you guys are not satisfied? So I want to hear you guys some comments in the comments below your thoughts and your opinions regarding this because eh, I'll make your 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 voice heard okay in, in the comments right here in this video so and uh, once I'm gonna read all of you guys then I'm gonna read some of your um your your comments then regarding all of this and uh, yeah so that is gonna be all for today's video then these are the incoming changes in jailbreak very soon this year so um yeah thank you all for watching we'll see you all in the next one